Hello, in today's video I want to take you through the basics of a Bosch Kegetronic injection system uh, in a Porsche 924. So let me jump right to it and start with the throttle body. The throttle body is connected uh, via this intake pipe with this uh, measuring unit. This measuring unit has a measuring flap which we will uh, look at in a moment and this measuring flap reacts with these uh, measuring blocks uh, one of each uh, two different ones this one's for the Porsche this one's for the GTI Golf um, and it sends uh, fuel through this bunch of bolts uh, with this sort of uh, pipes Mm, depending on the year you have, this one's the older one, this is the newer one. It sends through uh, the fuel to the injector, which I don't have right now because I already installed it in the car. And the inject injector sits and uh, this is later inside the cylinder head. So uh, let's take a closer look. This is a throttle body. I show you know how it works. Uh, you push on the accelerator and it opens a butterfly valve and lets air into the engine. Uh, sorry for the flickering. I don't know what's uh, how it's possible. Okay, so when you uh, operate the accelerator, you open the throttle body and you force the air to enter through this inlet pipe passing through the air cleaner and through this met metering device. So it goes through like here, here's the air cleaner, and then it goes here and up. When it travels upwards, it moves this flap. So the more you open the throttle, the more air will rush through the system and cause a bigger movement of this flap. So practically that's idle and that's wide open throttle at six, six and a half thousand RPMs. And what that does, it moves this little bearing, which you can see moving right there. And that bearing actuates actuates sorry this small plunger uh, and both my units these plungers are stuck so I can't can't really show you the operation of them but believe me they um, can be pulled out so that's a thing to remember when you're taking this apart uh, to change this uh, rubber seal or for any maintenance be aware that this plunger is not uh, secured in any way it can fall out and if it does and it hits something hard it would be scored marked and it won't fit again because it's a uh, tight clearance fit it doesn't have any o-rings that uh, provide a seal it's just a very very uh, small clearance and if you score it mark it or, or make a groove in it it will lose fuel right here right here um, so what this does, this plunger, it opens or closes uh, sort of uh, sort of opening uh, that's uh, that's lengthwise inside it. There, it's very narrow. And when this plunger goes up, it actually opens up this this opening, and this opening is what's connected here and from here the fuel is send it, sent via this uh, fuel line to the injector which sits in a, in a cylinder head um, so that's basically it when it comes to catatronic system you open your throttle body you let air rush in through the air cleaner moving this flap which in terms through this hole moves this plunger. Uh, by the way, it sits sort of like this. So you see this plunger is directly above this small bearing. It moves this plunger 
and it's all cal calculated to give the precise amount of petrol to the amount of air that uh, is um, going into the into the engine and that would be it and this system would work without uh, any further ado so without any further um, parts but it wouldn't know when the engine is cold oh if I let my hand like this it doesn't flicker so much it wouldn't know if the engine is cold and it couldn't compensate for uh, cold startups or hard, uh, hot starts so it needs few more things to function properly so let's put this aside um, oh yeah uh, my throttle body is a, is a perfor performance one so here's a quick, quick uh, comparison between a standard Porsche 924 and a, a performance one you can clearly uh, see the difference but uh, back to the uh, to the system it needs few things to help it operate so uh, this is just a sender for the temperature of uh, the engine this this goes to uh, I think this goes to your instrument cluster so don't don't care about that but this is a warm up regulator so wur um, or in German warmlauf regler and this is a thermo switch and this is a hot start valve what did it does um, so the warm up regulator it controls the mixture depending on the temperature of the engine so it sits dire directly on the intake plenum and it has the same temperature as the engine has when the engine is cold it sends less uh, it produces less pressure here which in terms lets this piston slide more freely so for the same amount of air that's going through the system this piston has less resistance thus can open more thus can provide more fuel for the uh, cold start environment after the warm-up phase this device will warm up also uh, from the heat of the uh, engine but not only it will also warm up because it has a, a small uh, electrical uh, resistor that uh, warms it up so you won't go uh, rich too long uh, and after the car is warmed up it partially closes this passage so the mm, pressure here rises and this plunger has more of a resistance so for, this, for the same given amount of air that's passing through the system uh, it will this, this plunger will open less thus going into the stoichiometric uh, AFR air to fuel ratio um, what's uh, what's next uh, so oh yeah this system also has a fifth injector which I don't have here to show you but it's an injector that sits directly uh, in the intake, in intake uh, plenum uh, like let's say around here so um, be behind the behind the throttle body and it provides additional fuel on startup in uh, cold conditions and it does that uh, using this uh, thermo switch this thermo switch uh, has some uh, parameters written on it and it says 35 degrees celsius 8 seconds that means that uh, when the this thermo switch has a, uh, has a 35 mm, degrees celsius it will operate for 8 seconds so it sends signal uh, for 8 seconds uh, the colder the engine is the 